everyone, Kim Castellano here with another episode of Conversations That Inspire with Kim Castellano here at Power of One in the coaching office. Uh, I'm sitting here with a very special person, some of you may know who she is, that she's my daughter Kelly Keel. Hi. And this week is a very special week, it's Mother's Day week, so I thought what better thing to do for Mother's Day is to sit and have a conversation with Kelly about um, relationships and so I know where she's laughing already so our relationship dynamic is pretty funny um, for those of us that are close to us um, it took a lot of work getting where we are mother-daughter relationships are sticky messy um, and some you know some some relationships really need help so anyway not that we want to fix everybody we just want to really emphasize um, our relationship dynamic so uh, there are a few relationships, um, types. types of relationships. There are the best friends, the manager, the nagger, the too much um, micromanager mom. Mm -hmm. I don't micromanage, do I? No. Uh, the nurturing mom. Mm, sometimes. sometimes. Okay. The uh, I can't even think of it and she's not my mom. We're estranged. No. No. No, we can only go so long. Yeah, only so long, and then, and then it's, it's a phone like a call phone or, or something. Text. Right. So you can see that you can even, like, you can see some of our relationship is in all of them. One that I really like the best is the complete mother-daughter um, relationship. It's a little bit of the best of everything that we just listed, the best friends, the manager, the nagger, because as moms, we do all that, right? Yep. Okay, pretty much. but I think to do all of that in balance, mm -hmm. so... So Kelly um, has some questions. Are you going to ask me the questions first? Yeah, let's ask the questions first. And then we'll talk about the, how we got there? Yeah. Okay, so there is a way that we got here, and then I thought, you know, thinking about doing this, there is a way that this was established, mm -hmm. And uh, but Kelly wants to ask the Mother's Day questions first, and I'm scared. So <laughs> be nice to me, Kelly. No, serious. We're on camera. <laughs> I know, I know. All right, so question number one. How do you feel that we are alike? How are we alike? How are we alike? Mm -hmm. Well, we like to bake. Yeah. We like the beach. Mm -hmm. um, we do like clothes. Yeah. We're picky. Both are picky. Very picky. Very picky with our clothes. Um, we both like healthy food. Um, how are we alike? In our personality, I think looking at our friendship dynamics, outside friends, me and my friends, and I look at you and your friends, we kind of like mirror that. Yeah? Sorry about that. It's a telephone call. Yeah? Welcome to the office of Kim Castellano. Her phone rings. Anyway, we'll ignore that, right? Because we're having a conversation. Yeah. That's, that's a point, you know, when that thing is ringing like that. It's, we don't answer it. Who is it? Okay. So how are we like? So when you look at our relationship... You need to stop the phone. I can't get up. I'll get up. Hold on, folks. Oh. Can you shut it off? Okay, so rule number one. Put your phones on silent. And when you're having a really good conversation with your daughter, you don't answer the phone. No. So I can't even see it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so how are we like? I think we're both silly. Mm -hmm. When we both get silly, we're really silly. Yeah. And everyone has their own. And, and then that silliness, um, what else are we alike? How are we different? You're more bossy. Probably. You're really more bossy than me. I'm not bossy. No. 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 That's how I know we're different, bossy. You like sports, Kelly, and I hate sports. Yeah. I cannot sit for a football game. Don't take me to the Yankees or anything like that. I'm, I'll just sit and eat because I'm bored, or I'll ask for ice cream, or I'll say, what's just happened, or I'll ask mm -hmm. too many questions. Yeah, that's how we're different. Definitely no sports, mm -hmm. and you like sports. I can't even, where are you going, Yankee? Like, really? <laughs> I've been, yeah. Okay. Um, what accomplishments are you most proud of? In you. In me or you? In you. In me. Okay. okay. Let's talk about you. Um, accomplishments that you have a bachelor's degree mm -hmm. and going through what we went through during um, during the college and during life all the struggles 
you still push through. So I'm really proud of you for pushing through, not giving up. And, and now that you're even continuing your education, taking that time to um, go back to school mm -hmm. and really do what you really like to do, which is, which is teaching. Mm -hmm. And um, which I did see that in the beginning, but rebellious child doesn't listen. Mm -hmm. So I let her go her way, which is the most hardest thing to do. I was proud of you. You didn't quit college. You changed it, you moved around, you tweaked it, you tried to make it real fit, and I was like, mm -hmm, keep going to the counselor. <laughs> yeah, you're like, counselor, keep going there. So, yeah, I'm proud of you that you didn't quit, because some kids, you know, they would quit college. Because they just ain't working for me. And you would have went with just an associate. And maybe, so that's, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, next question. How do you feel we resolve our conflicts? Because we have a lot of conflicts. Yeah. How do we resolve our conflicts? Yeah, how do we resolve our conflicts? Um, we don't resolve them when we're really hot. So no. I give you your space, and that's the first boundary that we know that we're angry, so let's not talk about it, even though I want to dig, dig, and get it resolved right now, today. Mm -hmm. So then I just wait. Um, and I think that we have our family meetings um, mm -hmm. when we're ready. And I know that even from as a young age, and there was time out when you were misbehaving, I put you into your room and time out, but the rule was you can only be in there for like two minutes because you forgot what you were in there for. So when I would go in there, I would sit on your bed, and I would just say, okay, Kelly, do you know why you're in here? And if I waited too long, you would say, and I have to explain everything that you just did and all the life lessons. So <laughs> the thing was to get in there before you forgot why you were in timeout. So I think growing up, we always had those family meetings. So for us, it was easier to, when we got in mad at each other, that we know we need to give each other space. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to come to a point where we need to agree to disagree, that kind of thing like that. Um, what else? We, we do explode, but not like the controlling mother manager screaming her head off. I don't think we did, you know. No. no. It was more of we gave each other the look that we knew, body language why that I wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. um, and you knew, and then I knew what buttons I was pushing. Yep. Um, so, yeah, we have long talks mm -hmm. when, we're, when it's time. Yeah. So not there was right the away. distance was. The longest distance was two weeks, right? About two weeks. About two weeks. And that was Actually, not cool. More than that. I don't know. Anyway, it's mm, gone yeah. to the past. Do you even remember what it was about? No. Nope. No, we do Never. not remember those conflicts and why they were about. Never. Absolutely not. We know the damage of the distance mm -hmm. and that, that time away was not really cool. So, um, does that answer that? How we resolve it? We take walks. Yeah. We really keep our conversations open, and there's an, always an open door. So if, if I have a problem, I don't feel like I know that you're going to get mad. I'm like, okay, i got to brace myself. How am I going to get through Kelly on this <laughs> one? i got to sit down and talk to her. Mm -hmm. So that's not always easy, but I need to know when. Yeah. Because we do work together along with being mother-daughter. Right. So there's the separation of the two we've always had. Right. You don't talk about the nonprofit when we're driving down the shore to the beach. That's my number one. If I do, you're like, I don't say anything. Yeah, I mean, why aren't you driving. talking to me? He's like, yep, I don't I'm say like, anything. Come on, let me just have this one little conversation, nope. one little piece of business, none, no. none. And you ignore the crap out of me, and I'm like, really? All right, and I'm just, I'll save it. Yep. And you're, but you're strong, so that's a boundary that yep. you have to hold it. I have the I whole, can. yes. Because I'll forget where I am and then all yeah. of a sudden I'll be shooting the breeze. Mm -hmm. I got a thing, I got an idea. And then you're like, no, no. No, no. Right. Yep. That is pretty funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we're dangerous in the car. Yeah. We're very dangerous in the car. I don't let her drive. No. Never let Kim drive anywhere. No. 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 It's like, funny. you brace Come yourself. Because <laughs> she'll have a full conversation looking at you while she's driving. And she doesn't know how to get anywhere, so you'll be driving around in circles. <laughs> Google. Google. <laughs> You're my cool pilot. Yeah. All right, so no picking on me. I won't. All right, so <laughs> I know. Um, last question. How do you see yourself as an example for other moms? Hmm. That's a hard one. That wasn't on my little list. No, it wasn't. So how do I see myself as an example yeah. for other moms? You set an example for other moms since this is Mother's Day. Yeah, it is. It is and Mother's Day. 
we were not dealing with little kids anymore. No. So, um, well, based on our relationship, mm -hmm. we, we have been living examples to other people. They do see the, the some people have spent 10 years watching us yeah. develop this relationship. So to those people, um, they are already encouraged. They have those conversations mm -hmm. with us. They see how we demonstrate our confidence. But for those who don't know us, um, this kind of started when you were young. Mm -hmm. So I did take the first five years, and I was a stickler, and I said, too bad. I am not going to work. I'm going to develop um, and raise up a child the first five years. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of sacrificing. Um, I forgot it all about myself because I was focusing on you. We did Mommy Me, we did Jim Marie, we had so much fun. It really was fun. Um, I just wanted to give you the first five years of the best childhood that you could that I didn't have. Mm -hmm. And I knew that was my missing piece growing up. Um, and I know that I had a good relationship with my mom later in life. Mm -hmm. I missed this relation these years. So to me it was important. So if relationship with your daughter is important, then you're going to have to do some sacrificing on your end. Um, because it takes conversations, it takes time, it takes a lot of energy and a tons and tons of effort. And I had no idea how to be a mom because I had no role model. My mom really wasn't a mom. She just was a mom of seven children and it was hard. So to her time was not all on me. So, and I, when I had, when I gave birth to you, um, someone gave me Aunt Diane, and she gave me a book on how to be a mom. And no joke, it was this thick, but I was reading that thing. And I remember <laughs> taking my first workshop when you were about five years old, and it was called Shepherding a Child's Heart. That was the first workshop, an actual workshop I went to. And I remember getting a handout, and I remember there was over 20, 30 women all day long. We were all want to be, you know, shepherding your heart and shepherding a child's heart. So I kind of think that just learning as much as I can by good role models, mm -hmm. keeping my eyes open, I knew what wasn't right. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want that. Okay. So I had to search out. So I kind of like encouraging moms that to start and it's never too late because my mom and I had our relationship when I was, I don't know, 30. No, 25, when you were born. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When 25 years old is when I began my relationship mom, with my mom. I'm 26. You're 26. Okay. <laughs> 25 sounds good. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's okay. when I started my relationship. But you've had one. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's been fun. Yeah. We've so built it. We've built it, but I am a little bit of all of, all of the above. We're a little bit of everything. Yeah. Because I am an ag. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you need to clean your bedroom. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And yeah. I just gave up that thing, closed the door, and said, you want to live like that? Go for it. Because I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Close the door. Yeah. Pick my battles. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Pick your pick and choose your battles. Some things are just not worth fighting over. Um, yeah, and resolving our differences. But then you've also matured. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That. All right, so that was to say, read my notes. It says, this is what I said. There's ten takeaways. There are ten takeaways for Mother's Day. For Mother's Day, nurturing the mother-daughter relationship. Tell her stories about your childhood and what it was like growing up. And we laugh. Yes. Very. I mean, because if you know our family, it was dysfunction at its best. At its the best. It is really the best. Yeah. Can't make those stories up. Um, number two, ask for help. Yes. Always ask your phone, help. technology, it's easy, but ask your daughter for her help. Mm -hmm. You need help, so ask. Sometimes she'll say yes, sometimes she'll say no, and if you're available, you will, and mm -hmm. if not, I have to respect that, because yep. you know how to, how to you know, take your nose, and we learned that in boundaries. Yep. Um, Three. Take road trips together. And we do that. Yep. Driving Miss Daisy. That's what we call it. Driving yep. Miss Daisy. Let's go on a road trip. I've had enough. Let's go. Yep. Where you want to go? I don't know. Mountain, beach. Where you want to like do it? I don't know. Let's go to the Botanical Garden. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go to Bronx Zoo. <laughs> I mean, just whatever. Anywhere. Anywhere. Spontaneous. Would you go yep. to like, matinee? Like anything. So mm -hmm. for a spa. Mm -hmm. Anything. Um, number four. Take interest in her friendships. Hi, friends. <laughs> Everybody yeah. knows you as Kim. Kim. Yep. Um, five, teach her how to cook family favorites. We don't cook. 
We bake. We bake things. But you know how to bake the yes. cookies. Mm -hmm. You know how to bake the apple pie. Yep. You know how to bake the pumpkin, pumpkin pie. pie. You also know how to bake the coffee cake. Coffee cake. Grandma Bella's coffee yeah, cake. Yeah, Grandma Bella's. Not mine, but Grandma Bella's. Mm -hmm. um, the so, peanut butter pie. Peanut butter pie. So the, so you oh, yeah. but as far as food we don't yeah like, we don't we like, like baking food. I'd rather bake yeah find something else to cook yeah um six take time to have conversations put down the phones like we had to turn it off yes and so when that's on her yes it is on me and Kelly's love language know each other's love language yes. if you don't know each other's love language. I suggest that you do the five love languages. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a worksheet you do. If you don't have it, message me and I will email it to you mm -hmm. because that changed everything. Yes. Totally changed our relationship mm -hmm. dynamics when we did that exercise, when we figured out each other's love language. Mm -hmm. So now I know that your my undivided attention for quality time mm -hmm. um, is definitely something. And I get torn on that because... Yeah. I'm passionate about doing things, and you want to spend time. Mm -hmm. My list of things and is And hers big. is acts of service, so I have to do things. So I can give her time. Yep. Yeah, and, and that's the way it works. That's the way it goes. What else we got? Um, seven, listen to when she talks, and don't try to fix the problem for her. Life coach mom kicks in. How no. can I fix it? I literally just say, stop coaching me. When I start coaching, yes. and you stop. And then, okay, what do you want me to do? Just listen, okay? Just listen. Just listen. Mm -hmm. Then I try and problem stop in my head, and I throw <laughs> the whole thing. That just doesn't come out. Um, number eight, attend as many activities you can when she's performing or playing a sport. Okay. Kelly doesn't play sports. If you nope. know that, she was a timekeeper on everything. Yep. Scorekeeper, timekeeper. Well, I played sports, too. You did. You played basketball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. You did. I did. But you're not... But, but not okay. to go so, watch me. So instead, yeah. we deal with church activities. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I show up on Saturday nights, <laughs> once a month, to babysit the little toddler room yep. to help Kelly because that's helping you out in your position. Mm -hmm. And that's the activities that we do. So I show up to those things. Yes. And when you say you need help, I show up. Mm -hmm. When you're performing or doing something, yeah. I show up. Mm -hmm. Um, nine, meet for coffee, Panera, Manny Petties, massages, yoga, Sojo Spa. So do things together. Yeah, Panera is our favorite. We'll find one anywhere. Yep. And, uh, and when I pay, you go crazy excited. When she pays, I'm like, oh my God, really? What the heck? <laughs> so you're still working on that. But coffee, mm -hmm. Duncan, um, yeah. was that ten? Nope. No. Nine ten. is laugh a lot. Laugh. Ten is laugh a lot. Ten is laugh a lot. Laugh a whole lot. Yes. You have to have some mm -hmm. humor. So if you watch humor, we watch a comedy. Yeah. Or watch some. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll quote things from Mean Girls and, yeah. and other stuff, and I'm like, huh? Yeah. So try and find something like. Like you know, something that doesn't go over their head. Oh yeah, or way over yeah. Kim's head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A Snapchat. Filter. Oh, the Snapchat is hysterical. Yeah. So you'll sit there and you do those mm -hmm. silly things on your phone and we laugh. Yeah. I'm like, look what you did to me. She goes, yeah. And then you touch your friend, look what I did with Kim. You know? <laughs> Who'd you Snapchat that yeah. to? You know? um, like we did the swap faces and they looked exactly the same. That was funny. That was funny. But you made me laugh. I did. Yeah, so we try to get a little bit of everything. Um, we see each other a lot. If we go too many days without seeing each other, it's like, all right, is somebody mad at somebody? Right. Or it's like, or, wait a minute. She has no boundaries yeah. on her time. She's stressed out. She's yeah. probably overcommitted herself. She needs a life coaching session. Yeah. And then sometimes you do. You're standing in the doorway and you're like, I'm like, I need help. You better sit down. Yeah. Yeah. And we do hold each other accountable. Mm -hmm. 100%. We call the, hold each other. Yeah, and we call each other out on our silly stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why, I, if you know me, I'll say, oh my God, I get past Kelly on this one. Yeah. Because I come up with these grandiose ideas. Yeah, and then and I then, bring her back down the earth. Yeah, they'll reel her back in. Reel her back right, in. Back in, Tim. Back yeah. in. So listen, thanks for listening. I know this is really, uh, you know, if you know us, it's probably interesting. If you don't know yeah. us, but listen, think about those items. Think about how mm -hmm. to cultivate a really healthy relationship. Um, you're going to be a little of everything, and that is very, very mm -hmm. healthy. You don't want to be just your mom's best friend or no. or your daughter's best friend because she doesn't need best friends. She needs a mom. She needs a mom that can be almost all of that. And uh, so, Kelly, thanks. happy Mother's Day. Thanks, Kelly. And then we get our portraits done. We do. So we've been getting Sunday portraits at church. 
And that's been such wonderful just to see how even I've changed and you change. It's a wonderful gift that we get. So we've really been blessed with this gift. I believe too that a good, healthy mother-daughter relationship is a gift from God. Because mm -hmm. only God can create something like this. Yeah. Only Him. There's no other way. This is not my, not in my strength. Um, if it was me, I'd be running all over the place. But um, but I I love you. I love you too, Mom. Kim, aka Kim Possible. Possible. I have a lot of names. You do. So Sometimes she responds to Mom. Not most times. And then she'll call me Kim, and I answer. <laughs> People are like, what is that? It's just, but thank you for listening. Yes. Um, come to our coaching. Sessions. Yes, come to coaching yes. sessions. We come meet us. Come meet us. Come, come hang, hang out. out with us. We love hanging out with people. Yeah, so this coaching space is really uh, a comfortable place where you have conversations, mm -hmm. share your heart. Um, I can speak into it. Sometimes I have good things to say. Sometimes it's, I'll just sit and listen. Um, but listen, really, again, happy Mother's Day to all my friends. Thanks. All my family friends, my church friends, and City of Clifton friends, just thank you so much. Uh, thank you for just everything mm -hmm. that the you know all the support that we've been getting here yes. at Power of One. Mm -hmm. This has been an amazing journey so far. So I'm excited. Yeah. Miss Kelly, love you. Bye bye. Bye.